going to show you how to make this basket weave hat. I'm using a J-hook for an adult size. I have all sizes available. Um, the link is down below. To start off, this is the, um, the beginning. I have a link on how to do a double crochet hat and the link will be listed down below. So um, to start off, just to go over how I started this hat, if you need help, if you're a beginner, you can go to the link below for the double crochet hat and this will tell you exactly how to do this. I didn't want to redo the video so um, I already had done this part of the pattern. What I did was a chain five and then I did um, 11 double crochet in the ring and then I joined with a slip stitch then I did a chain two and I worked two double crochet in each stitch around then I did a chain two and I worked one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet increase then on this one was a chain two, two double crochet and then an increase two double crochet one, two, two double crochet increase then I did a chain two, so one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, and then an increase of two, so one, two, three, increase of two all the way around. And then this one, on this round I just did a double crochet all the way around, no increase. So if you need help with that, then I would uh, refer to the link below for that double crochet hat pattern. I have the link on, on this pattern as well. So to get started I did a chain two and I'm going to show you how to do the front post double crochet back post. Now we're on round seven. So once you get finished with this up to round seven then you can start this video. And what you'll do is you'll chain two, it does not count as a double crochet, front post double crochet and the next three double crochet. So you'll stick your post in the front this is your post and then work a double crochet and then you'll front post in the next front post in the next you have three so far this is your third one. Now you're going to back post the next three. So instead of going in the front, you're going to go be, you're going to yarn over and go behind. So now you're going from behind the back post. Place your hook in, and now you have it in the back. You yarn over, pull through, pull your yarn through yarn over and work your double crochet and you'll do that two more times So you have the front post, back post. Now we're going to do three more front. So now you go in the front. And just continue this pattern around. Three front post, three back post. So now you do two more front post. Now you have the three, now you're going to do three back posts.
And this is Red Heart yarn. Red, like a dark pink yarn. So now you have three back posts. So now you continue on with three front. And just continue around three front posts. Two. Three. Now do your three back posts, going from behind, that's one, and you do two, then three, Now you're going to do three front posts. One, two, three, okay now we're going to do three back posts. One, two, three, and we'll do one. Front post, two, three, and then go behind one for your back post. Two. Three, and now do your front post one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, back post, two, One, two, three, one,
two. Three. And then back post, front post. One. Two. Three. And then one. Two. Three. And then front post one, two, three, back post one, two, we're at the end here, three on this last one. And then you go to your chain two and slip stitch. Chain two, one, two. That's your first round of back post stitches. And now what you're gonna do is continue this stitch around again one more time. So you would come and you would work a front post again here. And then you have a front post here. And just repeat this around. And then you have a back post, so you back post on this back post here. Back post again. And then back post. And then front post three times. One, two, three. Back post one. Two, three, and then front post, one, two, three, And then back post one, two, three, and then front post one, two. Three, and then back post, one, two, three, and then front post, one, Two, three, 
one back post. Two. Three. Front post one. Two. Three. Back post one. Two. Three. Front post one. Two. Three. Back post one. Two. Three. Front post one. Two, three, back post one, two, three, front post one. Two, three, back post one, two. Three. Front post one, two, three. Back post one, two. Three. And then slip stitch on top of your chain two. And then you're going to chain two. One, two. Now on round nine and ten, you're going to back post. So instead of doing a front post here, because this is a front post, you're going to go from behind and you're going to work a back post three times. So one, two on this back post. This is a front post, you're going to work a back post. So you'll be doing the opposite twice. So for round nine and ten. Then back post again. And that's how it starts to look checkered because it's opposite. And now you have a back three back posts, so now you're going to work a front post on this one. You're going to do the opposite. And you'll do this for two rounds. So front post one, front post two, and a front post three on this one. And then tangled here. And 
and then you have front posts so you're going to work a back post on these front posts three times one two three so you're just doing the opposite Then you have back posts, you're going to work three front posts on these back posts. Three times. One, two, I'm going a little bit faster because we've already gone over the back post. Three. Now on these front posts, you're going to work three back posts. So one, three and then on these back posts you're going to work three front posts and this is the pattern basically so you'll do two front two rounds of front post two rounds of back post and just alternate it back and forth two times, two times, two times. And you'll be doing this for a total of 18 rounds. And um, once you get to round 19 and 20, you'll work two rounds of half double crochet in each stitch around with a chain two. Um, the link on how to do the pattern is down below. But this is basically how you do the pattern here to get the checkered look. We're on round nine. Once you get to round ten, you'll do this, you're gonna do the same 